Hi dears, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do NCERT class 6 history. The name of chapter is what books and burials tell us. Let's get to know the important points from this chapter. The chapter begins with the types of Vedas we have and their descriptions. It explains in detail how historians study the Rig Veda. The chapter further describes the story of the Megalits and at the end about Inamgao. You must have heard about the Vedas, right? There are four Vedas. Rig Veda, Sama Veda, Yajur Veda and Athalva Veda. The oldest Veda is Rig Veda. It is 3,500 years old. Three main gods have been mentioned in the Rig Veda. They are Agni, Indra and Soma. It is made up of thousands of hymns known as Sukta. The term Sukta means, well said. These hymns are written in praise of gods. They are composed by various rishis. These Vedas are written in Old Sanskrit, also known as Vedic Sanskrit. The Sanskrit which we use today is entirely different from the Sanskrit in the Rig Veda. Books are usually written and printed, but Vedas were recited and memorized by the people, and not just read. While studying about the past, historians studied the suktas contained in the Rig Veda to understand the Rigvedic society. Most of the hymns in Rig Veda were in the form of dialogues. The Rig Veda contains hymns for children, horses and cattle. Horses were used in the battles. Battles were fought to capture people, confiscate lands, and control the water bodies. Some of the war wealth was kept by leaders. Some was given to priests. And rest was distributed among people. There were regular sacrifices performed for better health and wealth. Men took part in battles and there was no regular army maintained. There were regular assemblies, sabha and samiti, where people meet and discuss the administrative matter. Let's see some of the words used to describe people found in the Rig Veda. There were two groups to describe people on the basis of work. First one is Brahman or priest. They performed various rituals. Second group is Rajas. They are leader who used to lead the community in the war. The Rajas was not hereditary positions. Sons cannot succeed his father. Two words were used to describe the people or the community as a whole. One was Jana, the other was Vish. A group of villages formed a Vish and several Vish formed a Jana. The word Vaisha comes from Vish. The people who composed the hymns described themselves as Aryas and called their opponents Dasas. Originally, Das means one who do not perform sacrifice and speak different language. But later, the meaning of Dasa changed to slaves. Megalits a megalith is a big stone that has been used to construct a structure or monument, either alone or together with other stones. They were arranged to mark the burials. Such megaliths are found in the Deccan, South India, and Kashmir. Not all megaliths were made on the ground, some were also discovered underground. The practice of erecting megaliths began about 3000 years ago. Some of the important megalith sites in Indian subcontinent are Inamgao, Brahmagiri, and Adichnalur. Archaeologists find a circle of stone boulders or single large stones standing on the ground. These are the indications of burials. All these burials have some common features. These people placed the dead bodies in large pots known as red and black ware. Iron weapons have also been discovered, which means they used iron tools and weapons. Sometimes, skeletons of horses, horse equipment, and ornaments of stone and gold were also found buried with the dead. Archaeologists have found various objects in graves. 
they assumed that there were both rich and poor people in the society. The rich people were buried with beads made of stones and precious metals. But the poor were buried with pots. Brahmagiri was one of the sites where a huge number of burials were seen. There one skeleton buried with 33 gold beads, two stone beads, four copper bangles, and one conch shell was found. People belonging to the same family were buried in the same place. This type of megaliths is known as cyst. These megaliths had portholes which served as the entrance. It also had signboards so that people could identify them. Inamgao Inamgao is situated near the Ghod River. Ghod River is a tributary of Bhima. Inamgao was occupied between 3600 years ago. Usually adults were buried at this site. Some of the burial was done inside the house. Man was found to be buried in a four-legged clay jar. The body was in a cross-legged position. People used to place vessels along with the dead. The vessels contained grains. In Amgao people did farming as some of the crops found here, such as sesame, peas, millets, pulses, rice, barley, and wheat. These crops are grown and supplied to the people of Inamgao. They also practiced hunting and gathering. Archaeologists found cut marks on various animal bones. It shows animals were also a source of food for the people. Several fruits were consumed by the people of Inamgao, such as dates, zamun, amla, and bail. Major Families of Languages Languages spoken in the subcontinent belong to several language families. Major groups are Indo-European family, Tibeto-Burman family, Dravidian family, and Austro-Asiatic family. Indo-European family Sanskrit is part of Indo-European language. Hindi, Bangla, Assamese, Gujarati, Sindhi, and Punjabi are belong to this family. European languages in this category are German, French, English, Spanish, Italian, and Greek. Why they are called a family? Because they originally had common words. For example, we use the word matra in Sanskrit, ma in Hindi, and mother in English. Languages of Tibeto Burman family are spoken in the northeastern part of India. Dravidian family. South languages Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, and Malayalam belong to this family. Languages of Austroasiatic family are spoken by tribes in Jharkhand and in some parts of central India. Dears, this is the summary of this chapter. I hope this video helped you understand the topic easy and better way. To stay up to date with such videos, make sure subscribe this channel. If you like this video, please share with your friends too. Thank you.